Now in this case, we used replace to actually remove something from it. But we could have also actually done a replacement, right? Instead of doing the empty string here, we could have said dark and dreary. Now if we had done that and run it, then it's going to go ahead and replace six characters with whatever we said there. So now if we find that for the dark and dreary night, notice we didn't end up with a space. So that's a problem. We, we took one to Waldo D.O. and that um, space. So that might be, we had two ways to change that. We can either put a space in here or we can just say oh, only replace five. And so you just work on those details till it turns out to be what it is you're looking for. Now, not only can we replace, and there we go, and it, and it fits in there. So they don't, what you're replacing doesn't have to be the same size. So you tell it what to replace, how many characters to replace. Oh, I'm sorry, that first one is, is where to start, right? And here we used story.find to start. Now, another way to do that is to use a variable, right? And so we can just catch what that's returning. So we can say int, um, and this returns Oh, sorry. It returns um, a size type. And so anything that could be a size in int is one of those types that works for a size. So we could say um, the, lo the location. So what we're looking for is we're finding the location. Actually, it's the um, position is how it's often referred to in the documentation. So that position equals and here we do find Waldo. And then we can say that's the position. So the first argument in the replace is where to start in the string. So we're, we're working, in, this tells us which string. And then we call the method and that's the replace method. And it says start at this position. And we're starting right where Waldo was found. And then we're going to replace the number of characters. So this is going to replace five. And then what are you replacing it with? Dark and dreary. So that's how string, string replace works. Let's do a string insert, which um, now we can put instead of either removing something or changing something, we can actually put something in a string. So we can do the same thing. So uh, it's story dot insert. Notice there's a lot of options here, like there are with these, um, and we'll look at those in a little while. But this one is also going to be at a position where you start, and then you're going to say what to put. And here you're not, don't have to say how many characters, you're not replacing it, you're just saying at this position, put these characters in, which will just move everything over. So let's say that we want to put the fiery dragons. Okay, so what position is that at? It's zero, one, two, what, let's see, zero, one, two, three. So we want to start right there at position four. So we can say four, and then we can, then we say, what do we want to insert? And here, what we want to insert is fiery. And we're going to need an extra space because notice that up here between the and dragons, there's only one space. And we said, ooh, start after that first one. But now we don't want fire to be right up against dragons. So we'll put another space here and we'll say, put in there fiery and space. And then let's run it and see how close we get. Oops, it's not going to compile. I forgot it. Semicolon right there. So get an error. So I'm going to run it again. And there it said, oh, it didn't work. Let's see what, oh, because <laughs> I didn't print it out. Who knows if it worked or not, right? So I have to print it out to see if it worked. So I'll print it out one more time after that. And run it. And there. It inserted it. The fiery dragons are flying over the mountains. So there's an insert. Now notice what we did here. We just, what I did, I just counted, I just counted to find the position. 
but <clears throat> that doesn't work if, if it gets changed, right? Or you have to know a lot about the string before you can just use some number. So let's use find again to tell us where we want to insert it, right? So let's use this position again. We've used it up here and we're done with it. Let's use it again and say now what we want is we want where dragon is. So story.find and, and let's find dragon. And let's not plural it because um, dragon, if it's in there, right? We could use, well, we can do dragons. You could do plural, or you could just do D-R-A-G. It doesn't have to be the whole thing, but let's say, well, let's look for it. And then it's gonna tell us where it is. And then we can say, okay, wherever that starts, go ahead and start there. So let's do position and see what happens now. And now we know it's gonna come right before the dragons. And there it is. And so now if the string changes, and we can say the birds and the dragons are flying over the mountains, if we had used the number four there, it would have been saying the fiery birds, right? But now let's run it and see if it works based on the current value of the string. And sure enough, the birds and the fiery dragons. So now that fiery will go right before dragons wherever it is found in the string. And, and that's how string insert works.